but so far I notice a difference in the gas pedal definite difference in the gas pedal it um, feels more responsive that was second it feels way more responsive way more responsive now I'm curious curious to see what this car can do shift light that was interesting that was very interesting I think I enjoyed that quite a bit actually hope the audio isn't shit I mean it's not too bad but this car is pretty loud wind is also louder yeah this goes you just hit the gas and um, it definitely feels like it's got more balls for whatever reason so I am definitely a fan of track mode 100% so far obviously I say that until something goes horribly wrong look at this look at this douchebag there you go there's your live commentary like he didn't even put his blinker on he had his hazards on he just pulls out it kind of sounds like it's idling a little bit louder. It's so weird. I'm tempted to go pick up my dad for a ride. My dad grew up in the era of like iconic muscle cars. Like the first car I was ever in as a newborn child. I believe it was a 70 Chevelle and it had open headers and my dad told me specifically that the nurse she looked at me and said, you're crazy. You can't put this baby in that car. And he did. He definitely did. Which, maybe that's why I like fast cars and loud cars. Who knows? The only thing I don't like, I mean, obviously, you're driving around in, now you've got track mode, right? I'm not a big fan of the fact that the downshifts are so harsh at times like it's downshifting on its own now this is coming from having manual transmissions for the last like five cars so I'm used to being my OCD self and controlling like to the minimum RPM where I'm gonna be downshifting and I know what's smooth and what's not and what sounds good and what doesn't so you know you go from having that level of control to uh, a computer doing it for you. Obviously when you're flooring it, there's no competing with a computer. Computer is going to be faster and more accurate. What I'm saying is as far as smoothness goes, for me, driving around town, you know, even the Mustang. Obviously the Mustang has some balls. You got to give credit where it's due. It's still a pretty quick car. Um, but this car, it's just, I can't explain it. I mean, I've read a lot of people complaining about when you're obviously in second or third and you're coming to a stop it waits right until you're about to stop and then it downshifts to first so it's got a little bit of a buck a little bucking motion to it which you know I've gotten used to but some I've had passengers in the car literally like driving around in, in track well sport mode obviously I never had track yet but driving around in sport mode and a couple people have said that they felt car sick so I mean it does move that's a that's a given so um, you know it's just something to consider it's not the worst thing in the world obviously if you got a performance type car it's it's gonna have motion there's gonna be some motion in the ocean I'm gonna turn the mic off for a little bit cuz it's kind of awkward taco talking to myself I'm not some kind of famous youtuber yet maybe someday if I'm cool like Riley, I can sit there holding my little selfie stick or something vlogging and everybody's going to look at me and I'm going to be like, I ain't care. I don't care. That's my attitude. But until I have that many subscribers, I, I do care. Yes, I do. Goodbye. All right. I lied. I'm back. Douche. Go. There you go. See, there you go. So it's on eco mode with sport. 
No, street traction and street steering. And it's definitely not ballsy, which I wouldn't expect it to be. Let's just see what my, uh, I just reset my miles per gallon. It's kind of hard to get a judge on miles per gallon because I live in a city where it's like stop and go. It's smooth, surprisingly smooth, like really, really smooth, um, eco mode. Definitely feels nice, actually. It's, it's, um, it's not bad. It's definitely kicking into four cylinder mode right now. It feels like it's keeping me in fourth right now. I got it set where it tells me what gear I'm in, even if I'm in drive. So right now it's fourth gear. Um, I don't really know what the long term effect of this is. Because, like, for instance, right now I'm still in fourth. Just drop down to third. Now I'm in second. Okay, now I understand. Eco mode. It does not go down to first gear. So I'm driving around like a big blue jelly bean and I'm in second gear. So you're starting out the car in second gear. Alright, please people. The guy behind me has a pickup truck. I gotta get a rear facing camera. This scum scumbag is behind me tailgating. I really hate tailgating people. Almost as much as double parkers. And there's a double parker right there. It's like the bane of my existence. Look at them. Look. Look at this. You suck. And he's sitting on his phone. He's probably playing Pokemon Go. Not giving a shit. Giving no shits. Um, I think what I like about the eco mode, which is going to make it smooth more smooth for me in the long run is you don't have that harsh oh watch here's the pickup truck that was tailgating me watch couldn't couldn't wait now look look here we go look at him he's going right up that guy's ass now nobody's letting okay you fucking bunch of stupid son of a bitches over here nobody lets anybody turn in this city nobody stupid I'm over it I'm over it I'm so much over it I'm taking it out of eco mode. And I'm going to cut this guy off. I'm going to have to be a bit of a douche. I can't do it, actually. There's, there's an Asian man to the left of me. He's going to be crossing. Son of a bitch. Fuck me all up. Oh, you are a kind man. You are a good guy. You just made my shit list disappear. You made it disappear today. I have full faith. Faith? I got faith restored in the world. All it takes, one kind little gesture. You see that? A kind little gesture saying, hey, you can go. I'm allowing you. And that's what he did. He allowed me. And I, I accepted graciously. Thank you, sir. Oh my god. Pothole. Douche pothole. So, I want to give some more impressions on what I feel about this beast of a, wow, look at that, lifted truck, okay. What I feel about this um, taser. Now, I thought it was BS with the steering thing and, you know, but, you know, I've been testing it out and if you sit there, even just at a dead stop and you swap between track and sport mode on the screen, you can feel a pretty dramatic difference in the steering wheel. So, let's just talk about that, the difference with sport and track mode. I think track mode is absolutely worth it, and right then and there, it makes taser worth it. It really does. Um, it, it gets a lot more firm shifts. It's more aggressive. It wants to get into gear quicker and, and move on. It just wants to do what it's supposed to do. A oh, big ass bump. It wants to do what it's supposed to do, and it wants to just go. Which is a good thing, you know, that that's for performance. But the downside of that, driving around in town for whatever reason, it's going to be jerkier. It will absolutely be jerkier. But, you know, when you got a performance car and it's not a manual, 
you gotta you gotta kind of expect that. Um, as far as everything else goes, as far as the settings, that obviously the traction doesn't change because there's no sport higher higher than sport really for um, the scat. But you know when you put it into track mode and you push traction off, it leaves it in track transmission, which I just spoke about. That's it's it's self-explanatory. There's nothing nothing else to talk about with that. It is more precise. It's more powerful. So it's a good thing. Um, as far as traction goes, it always stays on street. Um, and steering, like I said, it's a pretty substantial difference. I actually enjoy it. It does firm it up quite a bit. Look at these hats. What the hell's up with these hats? It firms it up quite a bit, which is really nice. I, I actually enjoy it. I, so with the track, I would say anybody considering getting this, it's worth it right then and there. Then you add the valet mode. And then you add the eco mode. And then you add the light show. And you add all of these things. It's just the whole package. It's completely and utterly worth the money. It really is. It's, it's not much else to say. It's totally worth the money. Um, I mean, we could speak back on that transmission for a quick second. What it does in the city mode is it keeps the car into the more powerful gears longer so it doesn't just do that quick like a you know 18 wheel or tractor trailer where it just goes through gears super fast because the gears are so short and you hear that i don't know if anybody really knows what the hell i'm talking about sometimes i don't even but when you when you hear that that's kind of how i can explain it in a way um with the normal shift mode eco mode and everything it goes through the gear super fast because it's trying to keep you in the lowest less strenuous gear now let's talk about the complete opposite end of the spectrum with that eco mode now i just popped it into eco mode from track i'm in auto i'm not in paddle shifter immediately it drops down so that the engine's got less load um it still does that MDS thing it kind of feels like the four-cylinder mode kicks on much quicker maybe it's just me it definitely kicks on now for whatever reason I can't explain this but you can it's weird you, when you whatever you go from like I went from track to eco so it turned transmission to eco which is very fluffy by the way it starts out in second gear which is crazy you know it just you the pedal feels muted it feels like there's nothing there um this is the kind of mode where if my fiance drives the car i kind of want her driving in this because <laughs> i get nervous you know if you get a pedal with too much power behind it and all of a sudden you know you're hitting the gas th things can happen especially you know, if I let my fiance drive the car for whatever reason. And yes, she does. She's allowed to drive it. And she's completely capable. Like, right now I'm in eco mode. The pedal, like, I don't get much of a response until more than halfway depressed. Then it starts to feel like I'm starting to get some power. So it kind of what it does is, I don't know if you've ever played... Um, with a steering wheel set up on like an Xbox or something and you can set where you want the pedal to, to feel like it engages if you want it immediately or if you want it down a little bit that's kind of what this did it it gets it so that you push the pedal and like the first half of it feels like it barely has any effect whatsoever on the car which there you go that's part of the reason why you're gonna save MPGs um, it's still in track steering mode, I guess because what I did was I went from track to eco. Like, look at this. I'm hitting the gas fairly hard right now, and I'm getting tests, and cars are coming up on me. Hills are a bit of a situation. I don't enjoy hills with eco mode. I feel like because the car's so damn heavy, <clears throat> it's um, it doesn't want to go up the hill, which, you know, that, that does present a problem. So I could see me being in eco mode almost anywhere else and then swapping over to sport mode 
for a hill like if I if I see a hill coming um, again the thing with the eco mode is it kicks you into that MDS thing um, I'm not a fan of MDS obviously because from stock form even without playing with the exhaust a little bit it's got that that droney humming vibrating thing going on I I just don't I hate it I hate it I, I just hate it I don't think it should be in the car but you know that that's for my uh, that's for my other video we'll talk about that but I'm gonna try something if like I said you're going from track to eco it keeps it in track steering so if I click from eco to sport right now what it does is it's changing my steering right now from track to sport so it just swapped it over so now if I go from sport mode to eco now I've got a much lighter steering wheel transmissions back on eco paddle shift is off because I guess with eco mode they feel like you don't need to be paddle shifty shifting um, Traction's on sport, steering's on sport, and the car is a fluffmeister right now. It feels like a giant marshmallow. It's, I feel like on everyday driving in certain areas, it's going to be good. It's totally fine on flat grounds and stuff. It will save gas mileage. It's nice, but, you know, I, I think uh, as soon as hills start coming into the equation, um... The highway, for instance, if you're going to be like merging onto a highway, I I think it's completely I think it's completely wrong to have that on. You know, I think um, you need some entrance speed, and I think this could get somebody killed. <laughs> this car just feels like my fiance's uh, Tucson. It's got no pedal, no go. It's got no go pedal. Um, all right. Look at this asshole. Takes off from the green light. That's nice. I'm about to do a few review and you're speeding like a dickhead. Son of a bitch. Anyway. So we're going to get back into the taser talk. So we'll call this little fun situation. The audio probably sounds like shit. But I was going to try to put my Canon G7X on the dashboard or something to record it. But, you know, nobody wants to sit and stare at a, a blank screen or a still image while somebody's like talking about something you want something to look at so I figured all right well this is definitely something to look at we're in a park how beautiful no. um all right so back on to the taser you know I guess I went over the whole track thing how you know in my opinion just to summarize that it's definitely worth it it's definitely worth it you get the steering wheel stiffening up you get a more responsive gas pedal you get a more aggressive shifting transmission all of those things by itself look at this oh i thought you were going to be a king of the douche today all of those things are totally worth it in a car like this totally worth it um eco mode that's another thing honestly it is worth it i i might not use it that often but just to know that it's there just to know that i have that option that's that's awesome i like that the valet mode, you know, putting putting like a little uh, four-digit passcode in and knowing that your car is not going to get Ferris Buellered around, that's awesome as well. Look at this guy. How close to his bumper are you getting? All of you. So, all in all, there's so many pros to it. Um, and then on top of that, you get to change your gauges. Um, you can get the Hellcat colored gauges, which are red. They're really nice. I think it changes the whole... Uh, cluster it, it gives it a nice look um, you know obviously I was reading from some of the comments that you know you could have disabled the seatbelt by doing this little trick um, I didn't know about that to begin with but to be honest with you I believe it so I mean obviously that kind of takes away me listing taser as a solution to that problem but, I mean, if it comes along with it and you don't have to do this little quote-unquote hack, that's fine as well. Um, yeah, I mean, all in all, it's awesome. I'm, I'm super pumped. I, I love it. I drive around with it all the time. Everything looks good. It feels good. I haven't had any problems. I definitely feel like the car is more stout on the highway. It does feel like it's got more balls. It does pick up. Um, 
the acceleration wow this guy went around him I don't know what just happened the acceleration is better it um, it feels like it goes through the gears quicker with more authority so oh so I'm okay with that I'm, I'm really excited um, I don't really drive in default mode obviously that would be the basic normal mode that I've had the whole time I find myself in track sport or eco so those are basically the three modes I drive in the most now um, right now I'm in track mode I don't really see a reason to not be in track mode unless you get sick of um, the shifts it is aggressive I'll give you that much it is pretty aggressive but it's not like unmanageable it's good so you know I don't know that's it I mean I would say if you're looking for a little bit more bite out of your car and you know a little bit more jazzed up cluster and more fun to drive this is definitely the way to go it's budget friendly I would say it's sure as hell easy to install once you navigate the steering wheel controls and you're familiar with it it's not too bad hopefully my other video helped somewhat there's really not much to be scared about um, definitely like I said in the previous videos right down Wow green light everybody everybody's running a red light that's cool um, write down everything that you change because if you have to revert it back you want to make sure you know what you changed obviously you're gonna remember what you changed it shouldn't be that difficult um, but no that's it it's it's worth it go out and buy it right now and that's the end of that that's all I got to say hope you enjoy it I would have done a more in-depth thing but cameras and recording it's tough with this car sometimes and I certainly can't record um, through my GoPro while I'm flipping crazy exhaust noises but um, hopefully 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 you enjoy what you heard and if it's definitely something you're looking for get it go get it right now stop watching the stupid video go on the Z Auto Tech whatever the website is and um, buy it get the damn thing right now all right that's all I got to say and I'm gone look at the sky there's wind there's douches there's lots of things going on out here I gotta try to record some douches look at this school first day of school should be good material look at this oh my god I'm so excited